Please read and familiarize yourself with the manual and provided safety information. Hello, and congratulations on the purchase of an Ingersoll Rand air compressor. To get the most out of your machine and extend longevity, always perform preventative maintenance at the designated intervals listed in your maintenance manual. In this video, we'll show everything you need to do for your 2,000 hour service, which is the first major milestone for your compressor. Prior to this service interval, be sure to check coolant level and drain moisture from the tank daily, along with cleaning the pre-filter when necessary. Be sure to change your coolant filter and top off coolant after the first 150 hours. Before we get started in the visual inspection and filter changes, let's cover the basics for what you need to do prior to attempting any maintenance work. Watch the full safety intro video for more details. First, shut down the compressor and isolate the machine from any electrical or battery connections. Turn off and lock out the power source to eliminate the risk of accidental startup. Then discharge and isolate all air pressure from the system. Opening or removing panels or covers will expose additional hazards, including hot surfaces, live electrical components, and intermittently moving parts. To begin the 2,000 hour maintenance, you'll want to visually inspect several parts. Check the drive bolts for cracking, fraying, or glazing, and test the pressure relief valve by pulling on the key ring loop and ensure it returns to its original position and air does not leak during machine operation. Examine the package pre-filter, air end, pressure system, and receiver, and then inspect the scavenge screen to see if there's a blockage. If necessary, clean the screen located between the coolant manifold and the air end. Once these visual checks are complete, you can move on to changing the filters. Note that used filter elements must be disposed of in accordance with local regulations. Changing the pre-filter is easy. Simply remove the old one and fit a new element in place. The pre-filter may be removed from inside or outside the panel, depending on the model. To access the air filter element, you'll need to remove the retaining cap. Once the new filter has been fitted, replace the cap. To loosen the coolant filter, you may need a filter or strap wrench. Once loose, remove the old filter from the housing and place it in a sealed bag for safe disposal. Next, wipe the mating face of the housing with a clean rag, being careful not to let any particles enter the machine. Remove the new Ingersoll Rand replacement filter from its protective package and apply a small amount of the same coolant used in the machine to the seal. Screw the new filter down until the seal makes contact with the housing, then hand tighten an additional half turn. Changing the separator element is similar. Loosen with a filter or strap wrench, remove and bag the old element, clean the mating face, lubricate the seal with the same coolant that's used in the machine and screw it down until the seal makes contact with the housing, but only hand tighten an additional one quarter turn. When you restart the unit, inspect the new separator element and coolant filter and check for leaks. If your compressor features an integrated dryer, the air filter elements are also replaced at this time. The air system must be fully depressurized before you can unscrew the bowl. Once removed, Inspect the condition of the bowl seal and replace it if necessary. After removing the filter element, clean the screw threads and o-ring with a clean rag. Install the new element and reinstall the bowl, making sure that the arrows line up. Repressurize the unit to check for leaks. A pair of diagnostic tests are also recommended at the 2000 hour mark. Contact your Ingersoll Rand service provider for condition-based monitoring of your coolant and bearings. 